Hey guys, Dean Mike here from our episode of Pikmin 2. Last time we fully awakened our wood, wiped that area out, went down to that nasty snaggert hole and took those bird brains all apart. Today we're going to go back to the perplexing pool for a little dip and some above ground day. So we're going to wipe out some of the local enemies. We're going to change the landscape. We're going to open up a new dungeon and get some treasure. So. Today is all kinds of jam-packed. Hopefully you're ready for that. All right, first things first, white Pikmin. You might be thinking to yourself, what, D-Mike, white Pikmin? All right, so I didn't really show off this area a ton when I was here last time. I didn't really know what to do with it, but first things first is throw 20 white Pikmin up on that ledge, trust me, and just leave them there for now. We'll come back, but for now, that's what we're going to do. Then you'll want to give Olimar probably like, um, I'd say 50 blues. You'll need a lot for what I'm about to do. We're going to sacrifice some of our blues, unfortunately. I haven't figured out a good way not to sacrifice them. So it is what it is. But um, yeah, so get your, get your blues ready here. There's these nasty things right here. <laughs> I like the spicy spray. All right, so spicy spray real quick and then have them go after this wall. You'll thank me for that later. Guys, we don't have time for that. We got wall knocking down to do. All right, so that's good. Now we can have Louie come here and with our remaining squad of, let's go with 25 yellow and five blue. We don't really need a ton of blue for him, but we're going to max out basically our entire team the majority of the day. So coming along here very carefully, there's going to be some of the uh, flying shear grubs that will pop up. So just be careful. We're going to send all of our yellow squad up here. Just yellows. Just yellows. Yes, yellows. Okay, cool. And you can just keep your blue Pikmin with you, doesn't matter, but we're throwing our yellow Pikmin up here. This is kind of a classic um, little puzzle, I guess. Whatever you want to say, a little workaround to get your yellows in the area. You're going to want to be very careful, though, as you spill them out onto the ledge. You don't want them to hit the water and die. But now that everybody's over here, we can have them all, all of them. We Pikmin don't want to comply, of course. Get in there or not. Okay. We'll have them. They're supposed to work together. This might be too many Pikmin for, for bridge building. I don't know. But anyway, all right, cool. So that is wonderful. Split everybody up. Get the yellows. They know what to do. They're your gatekeepers here, or gate unkeepers, however you want to look at it. And we'll keep those blues there for a moment. So these guys should be pretty darn close to having this built or unbuilt, knocked down. That's what that word is. It's like when you, in my family especially, um, people mean to defrost something and they use the word unthaw, which actually is the opposite of what they mean, because that means to freeze something. But I looked it up in the dictionary one time and it has been misused so much that unthaw now also means thaw, which is the dumbest thing. So welcome to the world. Okay, so both teams working very diligently. Very good. All right, blue Pikmin here. We're going to use them briefly to clear out this side of the area. There's a Wallywog. We've not gotten his attention yet. Let's do one blue Pikmin. Okay, there we go. Wait for it to, wait for it to land. And then you just hammer it. You just get hammered with it. When you, when you weigh it down, it basically can't handle uh Oh, I got one of our Pikmin, that's all right. So that's okay. We've gotten that cleared up. And then if you come a little bit further here, we have more of these guys. I don't know what these guys are called. I don't know the best way to fight them but I just like to go for it. Hopefully they don't, they normally almost always get a couple of your Pikmin, so just be mindful of that. Okay. 
And now that that's been accomplished, we can bring our white Pikmin down here. You'll need 20 eventually. You don't need 20 right now, but um, you'll want 20 in a moment. And now we can switch back to Louie. Our yellow Pikmin are almost done with this. Need them to hurry up now. All right. So once again, the rules are as follows. Once your white Pikmin unearth something, they, um, once they unearth something, they can have help from anybody. So go ahead and throw them back on the ledge. We'll come back around to grab them in a bit. I think that's all of them. Yes. All right. So this is just going to be blue Pikmin carrying this. And this takes a hot minute to get this around town. Just trust me on this one. All right, that's good. We will have, you guys can carry the corpse if you want, whatever you're into. We have enough, we do, okay. So that's a good use of the blue Pikmin. There's a lot of opportunity today to clear stuff out. So it's very nice. You can switch to Louie, who's going to come down here. And we're going to get a cutscene telling us something we basically already know. So there you go. Oh, another ground butthole, viewers. That's it. May I interject here? At least they asked. May I give unsolicited advice? Okay, so this is basically just telling you that multitasking is something that you'll need to do. I don't know if this is like the first opportunity to do that or what, but that's that. And... We'll hang out here for just a moment. Hopefully our blue Pikmin are not having any difficulties bringing the treasure around. I'm gonna try to distract the Wallywog so the way they don't get attacked. Usually that's the only enemy that's like really dangerous. Okay, cool. So we'll have them take that back, hopefully the blue Pikmin that are in the water can hurry the heck up. We'll get the yellows ready. There's not really a ton for you to do um, in the meantime, but what I'm going to do once these blues are ready, I'm going to switch them out. All right, so we got one of these. <laughs> the cutscene happens as I punch it right in the face. Get out of here! Get out of here! Yeah, so you can kind of use Olimar as a distraction. You gotta be careful though, you don't want to take too much damage. We're not quite at the point of the game yet where we can just kind of eat that damage yet, so... Alright, so I think that that's done, which is great. Now, as you can see, the pool is open for business. So get all your... get all your blue Pikmin. And now you can bring your yellows back as well. I would not recommend using your yellows for this next task because... They're not your strongest fighters. And you know who is? That's right, our purples. So, we're gonna take this treasure back. We're going to have horrible frame rate issues while we get the onion replica, which actually is an onion. But they don't know that. All right, so we're gonna be careful. Don't forget there's those sheer grubs that are dangerously waiting. But yeah, this is a good chance to really populate your Pikmin if you're into that. So. Yellows are done for the day. We don't need them. Any more assistance. Basically done with blues as well. So we can put them back. We'll give them a second, a hot second. And we will get out our purples. It is murdering time. Yes. So we will need purples. And if we remember, we have our 20 white Pikmin here on this ledge with some blues that snuck in there. That's okay. This is basically just gathering up the remainder of the things. Basically only going to need the, um, only need the purples for a minute. So we're going to come over here. We're going to come over here. A couple purples lagging behind and we're going to Split up the squad. We just want purples for the shenanigans we're about to do. First thing is we're going to kill these, um, these Wally Wongs. So get their attention, have them do the old hop, and then you can just beat them up. 
It's a safer way to do it. Purples are obviously going to be your best fighters. I don't know if the stun attack is super potent on them, but... Okay, hello, sir. Hello. Alright, there we go. like the nice farty sound that it makes when they land on it. Okay. So that's two. And then we have one final enemy. This one actually does have a treasure in it. And this one's a little bit tough to kill, but... Um, it should be easier with a purple horde. This is a toady bloister, I believe. There we go. And you wanna, you're gonna wanna attack its sack. If you can. There you go. Okay, and it spits out a ton of treasures. So, go ahead and have your purples. Um, actually, I wanna be careful here because I know that we still have those sheer grubs, so I'm gonna run ahead real quick with you guys and clear them out because I know they're still around here. Where are you? I didn't kill them all, unfortunately. I don't want them eating my picking. So there we go. And one more. Yeah, these guys are really... Oh, you got it. You got... Gosh dang it. You got one of my purples. I guess I could have thrown them. I didn't think of that, but that's fine. There will be more opportunities for growth later. Don't worry. That's what we do at DMike Industries. We're always looking for ways to maximize gains in the capital market. Okay, so we have the white Pikmin who can come this way. And there's a purple. Why not? You guys can take one of the... Uh, the purple Pikmin can take one of the Wally Wogs back. Coming back here... This is a little sneaky. Um, where is it? It's somewhere in this corner, I think. Come on, unearth it. Figure it out, White Pikmin, come on. This is your job here. There we go, all right. So you're gonna need a little bit of time to do this and trust me, you will want 20 White Pikmin. Okay, more frame rate issues, great. Woo, the Aquatic Mine, that is a bobber for fishing, if you're into that. The one downside to this is white Pikmin aren't the best at being speedsters while they're digging. So you're going to need a minute to get that set up. I think everything else is pretty much okay. And our, our um, purple Pikmin looks like they did a good job of kind of spreading things out a little bit. Their job is done so they can go back in the sheep. I think we only lost one or two. <laughs> I think it's just one because there was the um, there was the one that was down by the uh, that's that was down. I don't know what I'm saying. Never mind. Words. Okay. So I think that's pretty pretty much an even split of what I needed to do with growing the other Pikmin. So that's good. Hopefully they are in the process of carrying back the neck. Oh, they are. <laughs> you see how much faster white Pikmin are than everything else. It's incredible. That's why they're definitely your, going to be your treasure carriers. All right. The Fortified Delicacy. Looks like a... Uh, gonna, like an Ominate shell or something. All right. And that, I think, is everything. This is everybody. Minus one, of course. Minus one. Oh, it's because of these guys. Okay. Well, yeah, this is fine. I mean, yellows didn't really get as much help today and we have some white pikmin to speed up this process because no i didn't say red <laughs> we'll have you take it 90 percent of the way and then we'll call them off all right and very good nope we do have some yellows with us though so we'll turn the tide to yellow yes all right hurry up that's a pretty darn successful day Three treasures in the bag. All right. We got a nice amount of Pikmin for a moment. Because he ate, I think. That's good. All right. So we'll go ahead and gather these guys up. Pluck them. What the pluck are we doing? The game is just chugging with this frame rate right now. All right. That's a good, successful heckin' day. So in the next episode, we will be able to um, 
Dude, this music is just getting real crunchy. We will be able to head into that dungeon that we unearthed that was um, near the ground butthole. So it's going to be pretty amazing. You guys are going to enjoy, I promise. It's all in there for you. It's going to be a great day. We lost a few Pikmin, but that's okay. Look at those Wallywogs. Ooh, there's a Fiery Bullblax in there, too. I don't think... Have we fought one? Yeah, we fought one of those here. That's kind of the marquee mini-boss enemy, I suppose. But there's our three treasures for today. We're getting pretty close to that 10,000 Pocos mark. I think we basically grew all of our Pikmin. We lost one purple, but all in all, a pretty darn good day. Today, I tried building a small room at the top of a tree. It reminded me of my younger days when I lived in a little shed. Those memories helped make this bearable. All right. So he's uh, enjoying Homeless Simulator. And we will... <laughs> okay. And we will be done. Okay. Pretty successful day. Great work, everybody. So thanks for watching. I've been D-Mike. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you could like the video, comment on it if you want, and subscribe for more next time when we take on the shower room. Don't forget your slippers and shower caddy. This has been Pikmin 2, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.